Inspire Tribe, my fellow freedom lovers, to John Nolan here. Mr. Frank Jacob, thank you so much for joining us today. <laughs> Good to see you, John. Good to be here. So we're going to do a Q&A. We have a lot of people that are coming on and have questions for you. And that's by Elizabeth Juarez. She says, I would like to know if Q gets predictions from the looking glass and is Q a guardian of the looking glass? That's an interesting question. Sure. Well, you know, I never um, in involved the Q element in this research because, first of all, it's relatively new. Um, secondly, the messages, uh, there were several messages that were brought out by Q, whoever it is or whatever it is, that I know for a fact are off, like really off. And, and they were um, putting out negative vibes because if you believe what's written in that cryptic Q message, then you are amplifying and sustaining a certain negative energy that I'm actually trying to uncover and throw out of this planet. Like, I think the reason that the cabal has so much success with their anchoring of their, their transhumanist and what we would say negative timeline in terms of moving away from our full human natural potential is because they keep us in a certain frequency of thought. And if you involve people in those kind of frequencies of thought without, and, and you proclaim it, you know, to be like, you know, something that's truthful, then you're actually, it's like what they call it, they call it lush, you know, and it's like there's these energy vampires out there that they can actually suck your energy and use it to anchor in their timeline. That's kind of how these timelines work. We give, we go into resonance with certain information. And if we don't question that information, we're giving away energy and power that we as, you know, as, as individual creator beings have without even thinking about it. And so quickly that happened. And so I, when I noticed that happening in the Q phenomenon, I realized, OK, it's an interesting phenomenon. It's had, it has its purpose. Um, and, yeah, they plagiarized the looking glass material. Absolutely. Because they would. That's when I realized they were just a bunch of aggregators, whoever this group is. They aggregate information. And some of it is true, like all like disclosure information out there. There's a lot of truth. And the reason it works is because there is a lot of truth behind it. But the, the problem I have with what is there's is the part that isn't true. And in, the, in a few of the messages that I was talking about, I actually discovered that there was like I actually saw the lie. So I'm like, listen, my philosophy is I don't necessarily know 100 percent the truth. But um, what I try to do is either um, correct the mistake or if I'm not sure, I leave it out because of that reason. Why should I put something out that I'm not sure about? Because if I am wrong, then I'm sustaining that frequency. So my answer, the short answer to the thing about Q is, yes, Q took stuff from the looking glass, but no, I don't think it originated that uh, information. And it was, you know, if you look at it also, here's another extension to the answer. If you are, if you believe in the polarity of um, a creator of God or a being that, you know, was sort of like our, grandfather uh, that grandfathered us as creative little g gods then and and there's this polarity which is symb symbolized in the christian doctrine by satan or lucifer and that that person is supposedly the the person who controls this world or in charge of this world in this dominion trying to pull us away from the creator and trap us in a, in a thought well, wouldn't you use really clever tools and really uh, powerful people and, you know, people that are really believable and information that's really powerful to attract the people that are more, you know, intellectual, the people that want information that really want to find out that there's something because we all sense there's something missing. There's something wrong in our picture of reality. So it's like a fishnet <laughs> and you can catch all those people and you can distract them from things that are really important, you know, and for me, and I'm sure you know a little bit about this too, John, because we've, you know, sort of bled into some of our conversations, you studied the monetary system, you know, and I studied the monetary system. And anybody that does that, you know, way back when knows pretty much what are some, what are the most important topics out there that we actually could change our world with if we toppled this infrastructure and nobody's really talking about them, not relentlessly, not like people that are talking like you or like people that are pushing disclosure, you know, and I love that they're pushing disclosure, but you got to ask yourself, um, why don't they talk about some of the things like the stuff we've talked about, like healing modalities that have been pushed aside or crushed? 
the banking system, which is keeping us enslaved. If we all did that relentlessly for half a year, that system would topple. And then we would have a new world, believe me, because we would enter into a new form of freedom. So I just kind of got off the track on that one. But No, no, no. I, th I think it was a great answer. I, I, I want to add quick, just quickly to that whole Q phenomenon because I did a deep dive and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still observing it, right? There's a complexity to the information that is uh, not in a linear timeline way. So the, the information presented is, is in a multidimensional way and it, it goes into both the future and the past. So that's where the complexity of Q plays in. And some of the amazing things like years later, right, where you, you see, I can only say in terms of data, that's probably AI. I mean, I can only assume it's AI. Um, that's as, as far as I wanted to go. It's very, very complex, far more than what meets the eye. So there is a sophisticated operation underway. And, and as you said, I think it, it has multiple purposes, right? And, and it had a positive effect as well. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, next question.